So we're about this far from the top, we've got this to felt in lot and lat uh, and I'll try and explain to my brother today what, what a tosser this guy was that made this roof uh, because look he's got a gap here of 1 metre 30 and if I tread on them boards, you see how that board ends there look, if I tread on that board it's just going to snap clean in two uh, and somebody's going to die. So what I've done is I've run these lats up the side there, see them new new pieces of wood and there look there. And what I do is I've cut these to size uh, and I'm putting them in like this lot. Okay, I'm putting them in like that. I'll try to explain to my brother to support this board and that's that's all I can do. And then nail them in there. And just knock that down there and then it supports the, the next board as well you see so I'll get some big nails in there in a minute and and then I know you see look I can tread on that now and it don't go anywhere look I'm treading on it uh, and that's all I can do Okay, half past four, it's getting dark and we've got it covered in and watertight. I've got three sheets left on the end. Saturday's forecast another good day, tomorrow's not so good. Today's Wednesday. Uh, so we've got Thursday and Friday, two days rest. And uh, and then Saturday we can take these, these other three off. So what I'm doing now is I'm removing these bolts, look. They're what's holding these sheets on. Um, they do stay on. I'm not taking these sheets off today, but they will be coming off first thing tomorrow morning. And if I get these bolts out, then I've got a really good start for tomorrow morning. All I've got to do is, where these bolt holes are, I've got a rope with a hook on it. And uh, I'll just hook it through one of them bolt holes and push the sheet down and lower it down. These bottom ones are a bit longer than the other two and they're a bit heavier so they're quite difficult. Anyway, I'm just going to move over and get this bolt here, look. So now you know what I'm doing. Morning everybody. The wind's a bit uh, heavy today. I'm a bit worried about it. Uh, but uh, I'm determined to get this done because it's forecast sun all day. I've got the last three boards to come off and I'm going to start that now and I'll show you when it's... I decided I was going to fill this in today. Still got no tiles on the other side. Uh, going to get some help coming this weekend and hopefully get it done. But this is what I've decided to do. Uh, because I wanted to get this side done today, uh, these, lat, these lat ends, this is a lat, the wood there, uh, these lats were rising up really high. Uh, and that's because of this concrete. I might have shown you when I were doing it. So I'm literally having to jackhammer this this out. And the only way I could do that, the boards rose up onto it and I, I decided it was not good. There, you can see the boards underneath are, are rising on onto this concrete. But it's not so bad there. So I need to do down to about there. So I've got that much and that much to chisel out. And at the top it was maybe four inches thick. It's all down inside now, look, if you can see inside. And um, and then these lats will run through. I'll be able to put boards on and run lats through. Uh, and I cut through the boards here, look. You can see where I cut through the boards. Marked it from inside so I didn't cut the spar. Uh, another half an hour and this will be out. And then I can get this covered in. Okay, if my voice sounds a bit funny, it's just a I've got a mask on, okay, because I'm cutting asbestos, uh, and I'm using that up the gable lens, you'll see what it's for later, I'll show you, and I'm also cutting tiles, because on that end, it works out to half a tile over the garage, and there's the cuts I need, so obviously I can't film 
people I'm cutting because I can't all be camera and cut at the same time. But these are the end bits that was on the asbestos sheets. They're the end pieces and I'm just cutting them off here to get the straight pieces and like I say I'll show you what's all later. I'm starting to cut these flat pieces off these uh, this asbestos. I want this edge off here, this upstanding edge. And I want that cutting off here. I need straight asbestos for these gable ends like this one, which I did yesterday. I've got to get up and finish that, but that gives you a general idea. I don't know if I can zoom in here. I think I can zoom in. No, I can't. Yes, I can. There we go. Okay, there's, there's maybe an inch or so over angle on that gable end. Uh, half tile on the end. And I'll put all cement in here, but it, it's overhanging a bit. I've got to scrape that out and then fill it in and point that gable end. But that's that's what I need the asbestos for anyway. So now before I cut this, I've got to get this foam off because this guy didn't use nails. He just used foam. He stuck everything with foam. He didn't know what nails are for or screws or whatever. Oh, yeah, they've got ants in there. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next half an hour or so. What I'm doing here is uh, on that garage gable end, uh, it didn't work out to a full tile, so I'm doing cuts. I've already done some there. I've got five cuts, I need ten tiles. So I'm going to cut these, but I'm going to mark them first so I get a nice straight edge. And put the lat on there, run over it with a pencil, get a line. There you can see the line. Now put this on. Now it's going to get very dusty. So I would stand over there if I were you. Okay, so you can see I've got the asbestos up there, and this is the reason you mark the roof out. You can see that red line, and the arrow there, and uh, what you have to do is just put that on. You know now that this is going to work out right, that's on, and this is the gable one. This is called the gable. Now the only problem is, with that resting on that asbestos, you've got to take this nib off. And sometimes the tile breaks here. I've had one or two break already, but I'm just trying to be careful. That, that one's ready. Yeah, there you go. So if that's fine. I can use it here. So I'll try again. some cement it's not finished yet when they're all on what I'll do is I'll come down the roof with a bucket and point it up to save me doing it off the ladder and hopefully that will be okay so I'll just put a bed of cement on there leave that bit and get this gable and tile on and there you go it's flush with with the asbestos now. Now the only problem is you should nail every gable end tile which I'm going to do now because uh, you don't want these coming off when there's a bit of a storm on. Okay so that's that one.
Okay, there it is. It's done. I've just got to point the gables up now. That's those bits on the end there that's going up that edge. Uh, wait for that cement to go off and it'll point up really easy. If I try it now, it'll just sag. Um, and I want it to be flush with the tiles. There you go, one side. Let me just zoom in a little bit and so you can get a bit more detail. Uh, there you go, on them gables, look. So new, new fresh wood on the gables, barge boards, new fascia boards, new guttering, new guttering there. I do want to alter that guttering at the back. Let me just zoom out again. That's it, on that, that back there. I want to alter that guttering because it's very, very low. It's about 10 inches below the tiles at that end. Uh, so it wants picking up. I'll pick that up and do it. and I've done that gable end now let me zoom in I don't know whether you can see there look now that's it full zoom they're all filled in now and done and I did that from the roof over handed if you know what I mean so we've been using this veranda as a base again and yesterday we got a couple of packs of tiles up there's 214 of packs so we've got about 500 maybe 150 left the rest of them, what I've done is I've just put them on here, you can see in bundles of six, and I'm carrying them over there and loading the roof out that way. So hopefully by tomorrow, or this week anyway, we'll have all this loaded out, maybe tiled in. So I got these last two pallets up. <laughs> There's two tiles left, uh, but I bought a hoist, uh, a crane, and let me show you the crane. So it's these three guys here. So it took literally 35 minutes to get them up. They're, they're up there now. All I've got to do is put them on the roof and then I, I'm in for a flyer. So thank you, Matt. Thank you, Christian. Christian. Hishem. <laughs> Again. Hishem. 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 Yeah. Hishem. So Hishem is from Canada and these two guys are from Slova. And they've, they're all weightlifters. So it was no problem to them. They've done it 35 minutes. Incredible. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. 17th of November, there we are folks, it's all loaded out, look, every tile's up, I'm nine tiles short, so I would say my measuring was pretty accurate, to say I'm only nine tiles short on a, on a roof this size, quite happy with that, um, but I've got 90 euro to come back on the pallets, so I can pick up my tiles and still get money back, which is good, I need to buy some lead now, and get round this stack here, and behind the stack I've got to put in like a, a gutter type thing and at the side of the stack I've got to make it watertight so there we go there's one tile goes at the back there and I've got to put in uh, some lead there uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, get some cement mix and I'm going to get that gable end up so I've started getting the ridge on and um, you can see the just the cement starting to sag. There, there, look, there and there, and I've waited an hour or so to go up a bit so I can point it up, and I've got to do down down that gable as well now. And then tomorrow, I've actually tarred that in backwards. Uh, well, I did want to work tomorrow. It's Sunday tomorrow, uh, but everybody moans if you work. I've got to do down there now. I've just mixed up load of cement and when I've done that I can only do down one two three I can only sort the third one up because I've left a, a tile off at the bottom and when I lift those tiles up to put that last tile in it will upset the cement work so I'm starting three up
okay I've had another hour at it and we're nearly there look so there's there's the tiles there I've got two rows and they they should fit in exactly there I hope I may be a few short if if I am here, look, down there just take them from there okay so it's worked out all right the wolf got in and fitted in with that gable end and this is just the bit I've got left one two three four five six seven courses so about 50 tiles, something like that, 40 tiles, and uh, it's tiled in to uh, get this ring done. And uh, sorry about the noise, the road works down there. Right, and I'll show you, uh, I'm going to take a day off tomorrow because it's going to rain, it said. So, but at least I'm happy this is covered in now. I've got the bottom tile to put in, but I can't do that till I've done the fascia board. But I could do that off a scaffold. But it's looking quite nice, pretty straight. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, I'm making progress. I've got the ridge on to that point there. I've got about another four to put on, then I've got to leave it because I've got to flash around there with uh, with lead and behind and the side. Uh, and also that little bit that jumps out on the other side. I've got to do that with lead. Then I can finish off that guttering, what I said I was going to do on the other side. And then I can bring the scaffold over here. Uh, get the fascia board on here. Get the lat on the top. Put this last course on and the job's done. So we're getting close now. And it's a beautiful day today. It's 23rd I think of November. So it's getting on for December. And uh, I've got little bits like this to finish here, but I can't do that till that last tile's on. And here, I've got to put some wood on there. But it's really coming now, and I'm very happy I've got this done before the snow and the, the rain comes. So this is the next job, chimney stack, flashing it. Okay, so this is the plan. I've been downstairs, I've cut some tiles, they're still down there. Uh, and I've cut some wood, and that wood is there, look. And I'm going to screw that wood onto the back here and I've just chiselled out the uh, the cement work so I can tuck the lead in there and then point it up but if I tuck the lead in there without putting anything on the back it, it'll just sink in so I've got to put two pieces of wood on there to bring the wood out to about here then it will sit up uh, uh, the lead will sit up against there quite flush and then I can just dress it down over these tiles uh, and that's that and the same with the back so I'll crack on with that I'll show you when it's done just waiting for lead now that's it look done the roof is done so I'm rather happy it's a beautiful day today it's quite warm for nearly December I've just got this bit to do look behind the stack like I say I'm waiting for lead then I can get these ridge on when that's done and I can dress this down over the tiles here, get the end done, and job done. So six grand that cost me, and this is a big roof, six thousand euro. That red one up there, if you can see it, that cost thirty-four thousand euro, and that's what the roof used to look like. These horrible sheets there, look, asbestos sheets, or like that one over there, or if you can see that one there, they're all all like it, almost. Anyway, around here, look. But when they do have them replaced, they have tiles on. So, job done. Uh, I've got that bottom row of tiles to go in there, but I can't do that till the fascia board's on. And I'll be moving that scaffold from around there when I've done that. And that's it from this angle. There you can see the ridge you're on. If I zoom in. I've got all the ridge on up to the stack. Then I've got a new roof, so I've added some value to this. Then I've put all new guttering new fascia boards, barge boards uh, and soffit boards by the time I've done so I'm pointed it as well all this brickwork here another stunning sunset just look at that, it's been a beautiful day today 22nd, 23rd or 24th of November not for just a week or so off December now. Beautiful. Look, I'm in short sleeves. It's still pretty warm. I uh, can't believe it. 
absolutely stunning. Look at that beautiful sunset. I just thought you ought to see that.